Hello YouTube, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can uh, display images in your web pages. So here, uh, so here, I'll use the image tag to uh, uh, put the image in our web page. But first, we need an image. So to get that, let's uh, uh, let's go to google images or google.com google.com and i will search for images so sample images here sample images i'll go to the images here let us let us take this image it's looking good So here is our image. Now I'll right click on it and uh, copy and I'll click on copy image address. So I'll paste it here and as you can see that image is here. Now here I'll close this tab. Now I'll use the image tag to uh, image tag to print that uh, that image in my web page. So here I'll press enter. You can just write image and press enter. Now here it's asking me the source, which uh, which uh, is telling, which is asking me where is the image. So as I copy that image uh, address, I'll paste it. I'll paste it here as you can see that image is here now here we are having one more attribute called all um, let's call this all one minute just a minute so it works like that now here uh, as you can see the button is coming uh, but uh, the left of that le the left of that image so for that I'll be using br tag that means break the line so if I write here br enter br enter okay now as you can see button is top of it and the image is down of it now even you can do it for the text even like the paragraph they're so long that oh, you, they can't go one sentence so you, you can use br tag for example i remove this full stop here the full stop has been removed and i'll write a b br tag so it has break the line so here it it, it came down of it instead of the B, that for, for line here now now what if you want pr uh, put under the image same you can just do the, you can just select an image but i'll show you another way that two ways so that you can print your image on the web page one you can download it so download it the uh, okay i'll save image that now here in the desktop directory in html learning i'll save it and before saving i'll rename it or uh, for it i am g image dot jpeg okay now here in the explorer tag as you can uh, explore that as you can see the image has been appeared now to use that image you to use that image in my web page same i need to write image img tag wait a minute just a minute okay i need to write here img tag here the shorts instead of sh uh, the this big links 
I can just uh, write the name of it. So it that name is image image dot jpg. So here is the ima image appeared. Uh, if I remove the jpg, it won't appear. You need to write the extension and the image name. Okay, it has not appeared. Now, yeah, if you'll be saying if I uh, write image tag, uh, what is this alt name? Uh, for example, uh, someone has gone into the web page. You, there are so many images uh, uh, for like the for the network problem. The image is not able to print in the browser. You can just write it like this. So first, it's a I think Galaxy yeah, Mates are uh, right here. Uh, let's write here. I think. Okay, let's write here. Space. Space image. Now, when you can do mistakes in the link, for example, here, if I write something like H H. So that image will not appear now as you can see here it's uh, telling me space image so if i change here the like uh, if i write here anything as you can see if that image is not able to display in the browser that is a second way so even who don't have eyes they listen and do the work in the computer that's useful so that's how if you misspell the link or the web page is only not able to print your uh, print your image on a web page uh, the web page is not able to print that image so it's so useful thanks for watching this video i'll see you in the next video and bye